Hey, what is up guys? Mr. The Reverts here, and we are only a few days away from the Call of Duty Black Ops 4 beta. I'm super, super excited, guys, because there is just so much content we're going to be getting compared to the previous Call of Duty betas. And also, I'm going to go over that in a second here. But really quick, guys, just something you might want to keep in mind is I am almost 80 to 90% sure that we are going to be playing the beta sometime Thursday. If you guys remember for Call of Duty World War II, the beta went live a day earlier. Early. So I do have a hunch that we are going to be able to play a day early this year as well But don't quote me on it because I'm not 100% sure But you know, maybe it's something to keep in mind in case you have anything planned for Thursday afternoon Also guys, if you all don't still have a code I am going to be giving away a few codes over on Twitter And all you got to do is just follow me over there and I'll DM you a code I went ahead and picked up a decent amount of pre-order cards So I do have a quite quite a bit of few codes coming in Again, all you got to do is just follow me and yeah, that's all you have to do. But again, I do have a hunch the beta will go live a day early or at least the codes will be sent out a day early because that way the servers aren't too, too stressed out and it'll just be playable when everybody is trying to sign in at once. The servers get really stressed out and then they crash and then the players complain and yeah, it's just not a pretty sight. And one reason that kind of solidified my hunch here is the Black Ops 4 beta is actually on the PlayStation Store. If you go onto the PlayStation store application and then you head over to the free section the beta is right there but you can't download it right now but you will more than likely tomorrow because I saw an article this morning by VG247 that said the beta should be open for pre-download starting at 10 a.m. Pacific time on Thursday August the 2nd again that's tomorrow and also a few players who play in France have actually re reported that the beta has gone live for them over there but they can't sadly play it uh, they are locked behind a little main menu, and uh, yeah, so I don't know, this, this, it's just one thing after another that kind of led me to believe this, and I have the menu screen playing for you guys uh, on the left side, or right side actually on screen, and uh, so yeah, I do believe the beta is going to go live a day early. Now guys, in terms of what content we're going to be getting for the beta, first off, there is a brand new game mode called Chaos TDM, which allows players to play with up to two of the same specialists on the same team, and instead of it being 5v5 it's going to be 6v6 uh, other game modes in the beta are control where teams alternate in attack and defensive positions and all zones have to be captured in order to win the round and then of course the standard domination s and d hard point and then kill confirm and then next up here on screen here is all the playable weapons we have for the beta so uh, first off, we have the ICR-7, which is like the Black Ops 3 ICR. And then uh, next up here, we have the Rampart-17. And then that's followed by the KN-57, which is basically the AK-47 variant in Black Ops 4. And then the Maddox RF-6. And this is going to be a, uh, an assault rifle 2, I believe. And then we have the Vapor XKG, which I've heard is a pretty good gun compared to a lot of the other weapons in Black Ops 4. And then next up here we have the MX-9, which also I've heard is a pretty decent AR. And then that's followed by the Cordite. And then we have the Smog 9mm, which looks like a beast gun. And then the Augur DMR, which is a semi-auto high damage rifle, it looks like. And then this is followed by the Swordfish, which is a four-round burst rifle for long-range precision. And then next up here we have the Titan, which is reliable firepower with the largest ammo pool. So that's pretty interesting. And then one of the snipers here is called the Paladin H850. And this is one of the bolt action sniper rifles. And then another sniper here is called the Kashaka, and this is a fast handling bolt action action rifle again and then one of the pistols we have here is called the strife which is a semi-auto standard issued sidearm and then the mog 12 which is a pump action shotgun for a reliable two-shot kill that sounds like the standard you know two-shot pump shotgun we've had in multiple call of duty games before and then finally we have the helion salvo which is a rocket launcher and i believe this is the only rocket launcher in the game so far so that's all the weapons we have in the black ops 4 beta they all look really really cool 
I love the artwork and design for these weapons. And uh, yeah, so that's all the content we're going to be getting for the Black Ops 4 beta. Again, guys, I'm pretty sure that the beta is going to go live sometime tomorrow a day early. Or at least we can download the day the beta a day early. I'm, I'm pretty sure about that one. And uh, yeah, so if you guys did enjoy the video, then leave a like and comment down below your thoughts about the beta and how hyped you guys are. And I'm super, super excited, guys. I cannot wait. So thank you all so much for watching, guys. I'm Reverts. Have a great rest of the day. Till next time, I'll see you later.